Yo, what is up? Welcome back to another ASCV video. We're back at it again four days in a row. Before we get on with the rest of the video, I do want to thank you guys for yesterday's support on the video. I got so many likes and I got so many nice comments. I want to thank everyone that did a comment and everyone that subscribed. I do want to thank you guys. It means a lot to me. Uh, but if you haven't already subscribed and if you haven't already liked this video, make sure to do that right now. I do appreciate any support I get. It means a lot to me and I just want to keep making out this content for you guys and I'll be making sure to make it at the highest tier it could be. So yeah, I just want to thank you guys and I'll leave you guys with the rest of the video. Today for this video, we're going to be doing tips for beginners. So if you're not a beginner, if you're already over the uh, level of 50 or more or some somewhere 40 and 50, you should not watch this video, okay? This is for the people that are, you know, are still beginning the game. Still haven't gotten to know all the characters. Now, I'm not going to say I'm a pro at this game or that I'm an expert or anything. But I am knowledgeable a bit about the game. So I do know what would be good for the lower level people that still haven't gotten used to the game or still haven't, you know, got into that level. Uh, but yeah, uh, we'll just go on with the rest of the video. Alright, the first thing I do recommend doing is playing the story mode. Now, straight off the bat, just head to story mode and just complete the whole thing. It should be fairly easy, even with Goku and Naruto. Um, you should be able to do it. Um, after that, just, you know, try to finish it. Because you get 20 gems per, per like, wave or story you finish, right? So that uh, equivalates and it grows more. So I also recommend saving up your gems. Do not waste your gems. I know it might be tempting the first time you play this. Uh, gotcha is literally everything. I already know. But I do recommend saving up your gems and waiting for an actual good character to be in the five star summons. Because honestly, if you go for a bad character, it's gonna be harder the more you go. So yeah, get someone like like Craze Win, uh, aka Saname. Um, there's a lot of good five star characters you can straight off the bat, even four star characters. Now, moving on, four star characters. There are some really good four star characters in this game. Um, one of them being Boma. Boma is actually a really good money generator. Uh, she is the only one in the game that generates money. Um, and you should get her if you see her in the banner. She is a must. It, it is required to have her uh, by by level 40 or something because you're going to get better characters as you proceed. So Boma is definitely a required one. So if you ever see her in the banner, go for her straight off the bat because she's just like... She's the only character that generates money, and once you get like characters that are more expensive, you you won't be able to afford them an in infinite. Now, another four-star character that is good is Mina. Mina or Toga. Um, they both do bleed, which is really good starting off. Uh, they they just you know they make the characters bleed. Uh, I don't have her to show you or demonstrate it, but she just makes them slowly bleed out, which is a really good attribute. Now, another four-star character that you should be getting is Broly. Broly is better than Goku at a four-star level. And a five-star, he's going to be really good. If you evolve him, if you get two Brolys, you should definitely evolve him. He's worth evolving to a five-star. Now, another thing I do recommend is AF Kang, aka using the time chamber. Now, I know if you can't afford a VIP, I know it's a real delt to not have VIP because VIP gives you five more gems in the time chamber. And honestly, that is a lot. Like, honestly, like if you think about it, like you, you're like, oh, five extra, that's like nothing. But the more you accumulate, the more you weigh in there, it accumulates in price. So basically, if you're supposed to get 500 because of the extra t uh, five you get, you're actually getting 250 without the VIP. And that is actually a big difference when it comes to gems. Because that's basically a 500 is a 10 times. And that is extremely worth it. Now, I'm not saying VIP is necessary. Uh, but it's definitely an extra boost to your game, basically. It is definitely going to help a lot, trust me. But even if you're AFKing regularly without VIP, it, it's still going to do the job. And you should do it when you're sleeping or when you're not doing, when you're not playing the game, basically. Um, now, I know some people might say, oh, my PC can't handle that and stuff like that. Um, now, if your PC can't handle that, I'm sorry. <laughs> There's really nothing else I could really do because you need to be on the game in order to AFK. But if you can, this is for people that can actually do this. Uh, you could also do it on your Android phone. If you have an Android, there's apps to auto-click. Uh, so you don't have to, you know, be there necessarily 
keep it keeping on clicking on it every 20 minutes there's auto clicker apps that you can get in the app store google store wherever you i'm sorry for you ios users um i know it's a big bummer that you can't do it but don't worry there's other ways to gain gems and i will be talking about it in this video now another way to gain gems is codes codes are also given by the developers the creators whoever uh, mods sometimes I think usually they do release it every like go every sub go for a certain person or something like that um, And they do give a lot of codes. I'm, I'm gonna be honest and there's actually more recent ones now that just came out one came out recently today uh, I'll put all the codes on the screen right now if you want to use any of them uh, if you haven't used them already uh, Go ahead and claim them because they do give gems and I feel like you should, that is enough to get you a decent character at least uh, till you play more of the game all right another tip is to hop on infinite once you get a decent amount of characters or good characters that do a lot of damage hop on infinite because infinite is gonna be where your holy grail is gonna be the damage task is one of the best tasks in the game it gives you a lot of gems um, for the amount of damage you do so so yeah, just go straight for damage, hit as many many troops as you can, and gems will just be coming in quick. Trust me, it works. Once you have Light Yagame, once you have all the good damage users, you'll be living in heaven. And you'll be able to grind and gain gems, and gain ghosts as well. Ghosts are really crucial in the game. Uh, they help you level up your characters so to, to, they can do more damage, uh, and stuff like that. Uh, but always focus on who you're going to XP on. Who are you going to use it on? Because you could use it on a bunch of characters and they're both going to do mediocre damage. But I feel like you should always concentrate on one character first. Then slowly go on with the rest of them. Always focus on the damage. Then focus on the boost. Then focus on the, on the money and stuff like that. Now, you're probably asking, is there any good 3 stars that I could possibly get? Yes, there is. You can get Sasuke, which then you can turn into a 4 star if you get a lot of them. If you get duplicates, you then grind for him as a 4 star. Then he eventually will get a 5 star because his 5 star is actually really good for the beginning of the game. Even, even now, I think he's actually pretty good. Yeah, so definitely go for Sasuke as well as Luffy. Luffy is another character you should definitely go for. His 5 star is pretty good. Um, and yeah, those are the two, the two five stars you should definitely grind for. Those are the grindable ones. Uh, not the ones that you get in summons. Now, let's talk about the ones you can only get in summons. Now, the five stars that you guys should be going for if you see them in the shop. My Hawk, because he's an air unit and he's really good in infinite. He does a lot of damage. He has a lot of range. Definitely worth it. Saname, aka Crazewin in the game. Light. Natsu, 5 star. He doesn't only appear in summons. You could actually grind for him. He has a 4 star. But he also appears in the summons. Which you should definitely go for. He's OP as hell. Gone as well. You should also go for Erwin. You should also try to get White Stash. Another 2 good 5 stars you could also get is Dio and Mysterious X. A.K.A. Go Goju. Goju, I think. <laughs> also, you should get Eren. Eren actually helps you out a lot in story mode. He's not good in infinite. But he's definitely good in story mode. Actually, I'm missing one more. Tony Stark is worth as well. He's out, he does really good damage, has good good range, and yeah, he's just he's just insane. Uh, yeah, I think that's all the five stars you could really, honestly, like the only good ones that you could really get. Now, that is all the tips I can really give you in All Star Tower Defense. Now, I did miss out on some characters, and probably the more experienced players are gonna kill me if they see this. But uh, as time goes, you'll probably know who the good characters are. Uh, but I'm just letting you know that these are just the base good main characters that you could possibly get. Uh, but yeah, uh, that is all for this video. If you liked, make sure to like. <laughs> if you didn't, make sure to not like. <laughs> it's fine by me. I appreciate both. Um, and leave a comment for the next video you guys want me to post or want me to do. But yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.